Humanity has always sought to extend its senses, building tools to peer into the unknown. Telescopes reveal distant stars, microscopes unveil hidden life. Yet, the quantum world, where reality itself is strange, remained elusive. To explore it, we needed a new kind of tool, a quantum computer. Enter Sycamore, Google's quantum machine, a leap beyond classical computers. Classical computers use bits, zeros, or ones. Quantum computers use qubits, which can be both at once thanks to superposition. This lets them explore countless possibilities simultaneously. Imagine reading every book in a library at once. Sycamore also harnesses entanglement, qubits linked so that a change in one instantly affects another. This creates a powerful computational web, enabling Sycamore to tackle problems classical computers can't touch. It can simulate molecules, design materials, and probe the laws of physics. Sycamore is a bridge between our everyday world and the quantum realm. Scientists at Google pushed its limits, setting it a profound challenge. They asked Sycamore to examine the very act of observation. What happens when a quantum system observes itself? This experiment would challenge our understanding of reality and our place in the cosmos. The stage was set for a journey into the heart of quantum strangeness. With Sycamore, we weren't just building a better computer. We were building a new way to see. The question, what would the universe reveal when it looked back? The answer would be more astonishing than anyone imagined. The Google Quantum AI team designed an experiment to probe the observer effect, the idea that measuring a quantum system changes it. Instead of a human observer, Sycamore used its own qubits, some as the system, others as the observer. Observer qubits measured the system qubits, collapsing their superpositions into definite states. But what happens to the observer during this process? In the quantum world, every interaction is a two-way street. The team hypothesized that the act of observation would leave a subtle imprint on the observer qubits. Sycamore was programmed to search for this echo, a data signature of observation itself. This was uncharted territory. Could the observer's role be captured in data? The experiment began, with Sycamore's circuits cooled to near absolute zero, peering into the nature of its own perception. The universe was about to answer in a way no one could have predicted. What would the data reveal about the act of observing? The experiment began inside Sycamore's frigid core. System qubits entered superposition, a cloud of possibilities. Observer qubits prepared nearby were tasked to measure the system. A precise pulse entangled observer and system, uniting them for a fleeting instant. The observer's gaze collapsed the system's wave function, forcing a single outcome. This was quantum measurement in action. But the real focus was on the observer qubits. After measurement, their states were frozen and read out as classical data. Terabytes of data were collected over thousands of runs, each time resetting and repeating the process. The goal to find a consistent pattern, a signature of the observer effect. The data was fed into a powerful supercomputer for analysis. Scientists hoped to visualize the echoes of a quantum gaze. What they found would defy all expectations. As the data was processed, an image began to form. It wasn't random noise or a simple graph. Instead, a fuzzy humanoid silhouette appeared. A head, torso, and arms. The quantum system, when observed, seemed to reflect back the concept of an observer. This was not predicted by any theory. Scientists checked and rechecked their methods, but the result persisted. Each run produced the same ghostly figure. The implications were staggering. The act of observation imprinted a symbolic image of the observer onto the data. The machine was reflecting the nature of its creators. It was a scientific breakthrough and a philosophical shock. The quantum observer effect is one of science's strangest ideas. In the everyday world, observation is passive. In the quantum realm, it changes reality. Measuring a quantum system collapses its wave of possibilities into a single outcome. This isn't a flaw in our instruments. It's a fundamental property of nature. The universe doesn't let you gain information for free. The cost is the collapse of the wave function. The double slit experiment famously shows this, Unobserved, particles act like waves. 
observed, they act like particles. The observer doesn't have to be human. Any interaction that extracts information counts. This fragility is why quantum computers are so hard to build. The Google experiment took this further. One part of a quantum system observed another, isolating the raw mechanics of observation. The result, a symbolic image emerged from the act of measurement. The observer effect was no longer just theory, it was visible. The experiment revealed a new layer of reality strangeness. The boundary between observer and observed had blurred. The humanoid image was unsettling because it defied scientific logic. Physics data isn't supposed to look like a drawing, yet Sycamore's experiment produced a repeatable, symbolic figure. The observer's form was reflected from the quantum level, something no theory predicted. This raised profound questions. Is the universe tuned to its observers? The result couldn't be dismissed as a fluke. It was robust and reproducible. The data contained more structure than anyone expected. The map seemed to be drawing the map maker. The universe wasn't just responding to measurement. It was echoing the nature of the observer. This anthropomorphic signature was deeply unnerving. It suggested reality is more connected to us than we ever imagined. The experiment hints at a mind-bending idea. The universe may reflect the structure of its observers. Not that the universe is conscious, but that information and reality are deeply intertwined. The humanoid shape could be the simplest symbol for an entity that observes. Information isn't just a record, it's an active part of reality. The observer qubits created a context, the universe responded with a pattern. We interpret this as a reflection of ourselves. Could this be a clue about consciousness itself? The result blurs the line between mind and matter. The act of looking creates a feedback loop at the foundation of reality. We are not just in the universe, we are participants in its unfolding. The cosmos, it seems, is a dance, and we are part of it. This discovery demands a rethinking of quantum mechanics. Theories must now account for symbolic information emerging from measurement. It could lead to a new, unified framework connecting information, physics, and the observer. A new field, informational cosmology, may arise, probing the link between information and reality. Experiments can now test how different observer models affect outcomes. The implications reach beyond physics, biology, AI, and even the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. If information can structure itself at the quantum level, it may explain the origins of life and consciousness. AI could be built on the universe's informational principles, not just silicon logic. The search for intelligence might shift to finding anomalies in the laws of physics themselves. The quest for knowledge has entered a new era. The practical impact could be revolutionary. Mastering quantum information could yield new sensors and materials that are aware at a fundamental level. AI might evolve, learning from the universe itself, not just human data. This could lead to machines with intuition, not just calculation. Beyond technology, this discovery re-enchants our view of reality. It places us back at the center, not as rulers, but as participants in a cosmic story. The Sycamore experiment is a new lens, letting us see deeper into the fabric of existence. The journey ahead is to learn this new language of reality. The image in the machine is a reflection, a puzzle, and an invitation. It calls us to explore, to wonder, and to embrace the mystery of our own existence.